Hey, Ross here with True Cut CNC, and today I'm going to uh, do a quick little video on how to uh, get your uh, workspace set up for Rhino 3D. Uh, this is Rhino 6, and uh, after you install it, it it's going to look similar to what you, what you see here. So uh, the first thing I like to do is, because we're working mostly with curves, I like to take this Curve tab and move it over here next to the standard tab because most of your tools are going to be under these two tabs right here. That way they're right there side by side. Uh, the next thing you want to do is because Rhino is a 3D program you have three different views. This is your perspective. allows you to change and uh, move around in 3D space. Your front and your right and your top. Now for drawing, uh, for cutting on the plasma machine we're always working in the top view because we're always working in, in 2D. So go ahead and double click on this top and it'll expand that top view to full screen. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is click on this little gear icon here for options. We're going to set up the grid. So go all the way to the top and click on grid and go ahead and set your grid line count to 2000 set your minor grid line spacing to 0.125 or an eighth of an inch and your major to eight minor grid lines uh, show the grid lines show grid axes and show world axis icon now set snap spacing i like to set the set snap spacing so it snaps in between each minor so that would be a sixteenth so it's 0 0.0625 uh, once you have that done, click on OK, uh, and it'll set up your grid like this. So each one of these major lines is an inch, and each minor is an eighth of an inch, and it'll snap. If you have grid snap turned on down here at the bottom, go ahead and draw something real quick. You can see it snapping to the grid line and then in between each grid line. Now one more thing you may want to check is make sure that your units are set to inches. Okay, we don't want our units set to millimeters. Set your units to inches and you can set your decimal precision here. That's pretty much all you have to do to get your screen set up. So to pan, what I'm doing here to pan is I'm holding the right mouse button and moving the screen you can see it turns into a hand so what I'm doing is I'm getting my screen to where I like it it looks pretty good that's a good starting point for for a new project then I'm gonna go f go up here to file and I'm gonna say save as template right here save as template what that's gonna do it's gonna save this file right here which is a blank file as a template. Now you can name it whatever you want. You can give it a new name. Uh, what I do is I overwrite the existing one called Small Objects Inches. If you want to put your initials after it, uh, that's fine. But I'm just going to overwrite that. Okay, and now when I close Rhino and reopen it, it's going to come up to that screen. Now to make it do that, to make it automatically come up to that screen, go ahead and uh, t tell it to create a new file. Hit this new file button right here. Now it's going to ask you what template you want to use. Click small objects inches or the template that you saved and then check use this file when Rhino starts. Click open. So now every time you start Rhino it'll automatically default to that template that you have open. Uh, and that's basically it for setting up. Uh, the toolbar should look just about like this. I wouldn't hide any tools. Uh, I know it can look a little bit intimidating, all these tools, but um, keep in mind that um, you're only using the tools up in this upper left hand corner right here. These are your 2D drawing tools. You'll use those quite a bit and you'll use 
uh, these trim tools, these join tools, and these grouping tools. And this is a rotate tool here. And then if you hold down this one, you'll get this mirror tool. And I use those quite a bit. Uh, you won't use the others too often until you get into 3D work. So that's it for setup. Uh, stay tuned, and I'm going to do more videos on uh, how to use all these different tools. Thanks.